Joining us, I'm Savannah Levins with NBC Charlotte. We are talking about a story that's going to air tonight at 11. Join with, obviously, Fred Shropshire, familiar face here, and Jared James with Lotto Edge. And we're going to get to this in a minute, but basically what we're talking about is scratch-off odds. And a lot of people think that scratch-offs are just completely random, right? Absolutely. They, uh, I, I, you know, most people just go and pick their tickets based on which one's the prettiest one or which one they feel lucky, not realizing there's more information out there. Yeah, and there is more information out there. So in North Carolina, uh, this information is public as far as what are we talking about? Like uh, how many tickets have been claimed? What kind of prizes have been claimed? Yeah, absolutely. So North Carolina Lottery publishes on their website data around the uh, total number of tickets that were initially, or excuse me, total number of prizes initially um, in a game, as well as how many prizes are remaining for those games. Um, we take that data and we analyze it and run some additional calculations to come up with additional data for players. So, Fred, you obviously know that we've been doing this story. Did you have any idea that you could actually use math to pick scratch-offs that have better odds than others? I thought it was completely random, and I'm fascinated by the fact that you actually have a formula that is puts the odds more in your favor, mm -hmm. right? So how does it work then? Yeah, so it, it's, it's, you know, a lot of this data is something that um, anybody could go out and do. So they, someone could go to the North Carolina Lottery website, collect that data, and analyze it themselves. However, it takes a lot of time and a lot of math skills. So um, we basically simplified that whole approach, and then we added on a lot of additional calculations where we can calculate data fields that um, would not exist otherwise. And just a little background on the story. The reason I even thought of this story is because every year my mom puts like these scratch off tickets in our Christmas stockings, oh, right? Over. Um, and so last year I went with her for the first time and I'm like, oh, let's get this one, this one. And she's like, no, 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 we have to look at the <laughs> odds. And I said, wait a minute, the odds? I always pick the shiniest one, you know? Yeah. So it was interesting. And then I found out North Carolina has the same kind of public mm -hmm. information. Met Jared. He's doing this in, out of Charlotte, which is great. Um, and so this story's airing at, at 11. You'll hear a little bit more. We're going to put that to the test at 11. Also, you'll hear a little something about those Christmas cards might not be as accurate as you think or as good as you think, but you'll learn about that at 11. Right now, we want to test out some of the tickets yeah. that Jared emailed me. I said, what are the ones with the highest odds of winning? You sent me these. Explain, if you could, what these are and why they have the best odds. Absolutely. So you emailed me and said, hey, let's look at a couple $5, $10 tickets. What are the best odds? And, and I always like to clarify, when someone asks what the best odds are, it's not a one-size-fits-all. So everybody has different ticket prices they play or different what we call strategies. Mm -hmm. So, for example, I might like to play a $5 ticket, and I'm happy with prizes eh, over 100 maybe up to $500. I want some spending cash. I'm happy with those. Fred, maybe you like $10 tickets, and you're always swinging for the fences, wanting that top prize. The odds to win, the games that we would tell you, are completely different than what would be ranked for me. So we try to look at all those different strategies, as we call them, and give you a ranking of the best odds to win based on your unique strategy or how you play. Mm -hmm. So we picked these games here, and I thought we'd just tell you real quick what we picked. So um, we picked $500 loaded. Um, again, you asked for some 5 and $10 tickets, and this one I really like because um, this game actually has the best odds to win prizes actually just above $100 up to $500. The crazy part is it's the odds to win on this ticket are th almost three times better than the number two ticket on the list wow. when you look at $5 tickets. Now, here's the other crazy thing is, so this game fits perfect for me. That's, that's my sweet spot. This isn't going to work for Fred because this game has no top prizes left. Mm -hmm. So someone who's trying to chase down that $200,000 top prize, this would not be a game you'd want to play. Someone's because already won it. All the top prizes are gone. Yeah. So, so this would be a great game for someone like me, but someone else wouldn't work for them. Mm -hmm. So that's why I picked that one. But people don't even realize this when they're picking up the tickets. Absolutely. They just, on, they just buy these blindly and they think, oh, I might have a chance to win $200,000 with this. Absolutely. And there's no way. Like, yeah. it's impossible it's because it's claimed. Right. Absolutely. And one of the things we look at, too, is we say, well, when was that last, you know, let's say there was five top prizes. We track how often they're claimed. So I can tell you, well, that last top prize was seven days ago. Now, maybe you wouldn't want to play that one today. It might not hit again today. Maybe you want to wait a little bit longer. So we give you that kind of information. Uh, next, we looked at $10 tickets, and you said, hey, give me what best overall odds to win. And these two, pretty vanilla, what, what are the best overall odds? And just so a lot of players realize, the overall odds are printed on the back of the tickets. But you don't see the overall odds until you bought the ticket. So unless you went on the website, pulled up all those $10 tickets, and said, hey, which one has the best odds? you wouldn't even realize which one it was. But these two actually stood out as the two best, had the best overall odds for $10 tickets. However, this game here, something interesting, is when we analyzed it, we actually do something called the adjusted overall odds. And what that is is 
Um, a lot of players, when they play, they're not looking to win their $10 back. They're looking to win. They're looking right. to win something Make above some that. Money, yeah. right. <laughs> so we actually strip out those $10 prizes, and this in case every ticket level, and tell you what the adjusted odds are to win a prize above the ticket price. Mm -hmm. This one was, was the clear winner then of saying, hey, this has the best adjusted odds if you want to win something above the ticket price. So that's why we picked that guy. Awesome. All, right. All right, and last one, this is my favorite here. So. Right here, we look at um, the top prize odds. So something people don't realize is when you, um, when the games are printed, the lottery will print and have um, a certain odds for every single prize. But people don't realize those odds change every single day. So once that game's released, a, a week later, a month later, those odds are completely different. They've either gotten better or gotten worse. So we look at that and say, hey, some of these top prizes, when the odds have had a pretty decent odds improvement, maybe that's when you'd want to play that game. So this game here, something interesting, is the top prize of a million dollars had a 30, I think it was a 39% odds, excuse me, uh, I think it was, maybe it was, excuse me, a 59% odds improvement from the original odds. So substantial odds improvement. And what that means is the odds started about 1 in 1.9 million to win that million dollar prize. Mm -hmm. The odds now are just under 1 in 8, excuse me, 1 in 900,000. Oh, wow. So you've had a... <laughs> So still a, a long shot. Out there. there is still a long yeah. shot, but if you were going to go and your you know your friend wants to go after that top prize, that might be one you'd want to play today. We've had a pretty big odds improvement. But the other reason I picked this one is not only the top prize had a big odds improvement, all three top prizes had a pretty significant odds improvement. So there's th three top prizes that are look like they're due to hit sometime soon. Mm -hmm. now, I do want to say with with all the kind of the strategies and odds that are out there, you know, um, you know. Again, everybody has their own playing strategy. You know, we don't ever guarantee, hey, this is the winning ticket. You're going to win. You know, obviously, it still takes luck. But what we can do is improve your odds of finding a winning ticket. Yeah. It sounds like with your strategy here that the odds increase with more time, right? As opposed to those, lot, those, those mega ball winners, like as, those, as time goes on, the odds decrease yeah. with those because more people are buying the tickets. You know, right? it actually, great question. So it actually varies. So as time goes on and, and tickets are sold all across North Carolina lottery, we're constantly updating our calculations. And then as prizes are redeemed, the odds are constantly improving or decreasing. Well, right after a top prize may be hit, the odds are basically going to get reset or get worse. So they're not, you know, re that huge odds improvement just shifted the other way. Yeah. So most of the time, though, on the big prizes, you're constantly every day getting a little bit odds improvement, and we track that every day so you know, hey, maybe I'll jump in now that there's a 30% or maybe a 50% odds improvement. You decide when you'd like to jump in and maybe play that game. So we're going to test these out. I do want to say this one was the hardest one to find for right. me. I yeah. went to four different places. Everywhere had these for the most part. The last place I checked had these. Uh, like I said, the th three top prizes on that one, that would be the one. If I was going to play a $10 of all, the, I would be going after that one right now. But again, every day they change. So tomorrow, right. one of these prizes could be gone for all we know. So yeah. it's, it's great when you, when you go on and check those odds every day, which is something, like I said, if you could do it yourself, it's just going to take a lot of time and effort to go yeah. in every day and recalculate this. So we're glad you're doing it. And you're, uh, you do have a free version of this service, too, by the way. So We do, yeah. We have a free version, a paid version. We, um, we reserve our, our current odds at up updated everyday data for a paid version, but the free version is great for maybe your mom who goes out at Christmas once a year or somebody wants to buy every occasionally, just wants a little bit of advantage, something, just more knowledge about what they're buying, perfect. It's the people who play more often what can get a huge advantage. Yeah. All right, so let's test this out. Fred, pick your pick your poison. Uh, he uh, just explained them all to us. So we'll uh, all pick out. And Jared, look at these that you brought. What are these? These, these are perfect. Right. I said we need some quarters. He said no, you don't. <laughs> and we'll we got our, our lucky scratch keychains here. So yeah. So hopefully are they lucky? Oh, yeah. they're lucky. It's that, so yeah. you see, he went yeah, for that yeah, one. Of course, of which one, one are you going go for? for? I'll go for this I'll one. Go for my five hundred. Okay. What I typically go. Cool. For so while we scratch these off, let me ask: Do we have any questions on the Facebook Live? Anything like that? And if you guys have any questions feel free to chime in and uh, we've got James Briarton here who can read it back to us. James what do we got? Anything? we got a lot of people excited about <laughs> the service. Uh, no direct questions but we'll see what comes Okay up. cool and you know we do want to say also let me see how this one works. I'm, I'm gonna like win. Oh by the way uh, prefacing this Jared and uh, Fred I bought these with my money so oh, yeah. Yeah, if yeah. we <laughs> win if you win a million dollars I'm ripping it back. <laughs> I'm going to charge you commission for my scratcher. I, I may give you a commission for being the best scratcher ever. Um, that's funny. So 
you know, we do obviously want to say that this is gambling. Um, can I'm going to give you the mic here, so you scratch yours off already, Good but job. can you <laughs> can you talk a little bit about that? And obviously, you only want people using disposable income. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So we, we we always advocate for play responsibly. Um, you know, we certainly don't want to encourage people to go spend more money than they should be on a game, or um, so obviously. Only spend uh, money that you have as disposable income. Discretionary entertainment. Um, never should be an investment opportunity. Never should be any type of retirement plan like that. I just won 10 bucks. I won 10 bucks on this one. I, I see Fred won too. Fred, I'm, I'm, what'd you win? I, I see Fred, you got a winner at least right there. Oh, two times. Two times five. Yeah, at least $10. You got there. 10 also? Yep. You know, and it, oh, you actually haven't even checked your other numbers up here. <laughs> so. Fred, Fred's a, a newbie. I'm I don't know. Let's see. Um, all right, I'm checking these. Yep, I got. Oh, thanks. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, we could. Um, let me see. So, yeah, I think hard for me to look at all these. And yeah, but yeah, it looks like I got the. I know the pressure okay. when when you're on Facebook Live. Um, I'll take that and back. Thanks, James. Um, yeah, you got bonus numbers on the bottom. So I won ten bucks on this one, which is basically winning the ticket back. You know, which is good. Yeah, <laughs> I'll take it. Yeah. Awesome. Um, anything else that you want to mention about how this works, things like that? Um, you know, uh, we're covering a lot tonight on the 11 o'clock story, so I'd love for people to tune in and check that out. Um, if you have questions about it, please reach out to us. Um, you know, one thing I want to stress, too, is, is this isn't some type of um, system or, you know, exploiting a loophole in the lottery. Um, this is all math-based data. This is all data that is, you know, based off actual numbers. So, um, you know, we're just trying to give that information to people. Um, you know, again, it still takes some luck to go find that lucky ticket, but it gives people, um, like your mom, that information so they can just choose a ticket that fits their own strategy. Yeah. And that story that's airing tonight at 11, if you guys tune in, what I did to test it out for the story was I bought some of the ones that were most likely to win and some of the ones that were least likely to win. What do you think happened? That's the tease for tonight at 11. Tune in. James, are we getting any questions that we can address before we say goodbye and There's scratch this up? the expiration. Uh, these are not printed on the tickets. Um, so um, on the North Carolina Lottery website, they tell you um, when the game was released, when the game ends, and when you use your cutoff to make any claims. We also give you all that information on LottoEdge.com. So if you ever have a question, you can click on the name of a ticket, and we give you all that data too. That information is not printed on the tickets, though. Awesome. All right. You guys want to do one more? Let's do one yeah. more and wrap it up. Did you want that one, Fred? You need to pick your lucky one. You know what? We you, just won you twice. Won. That was I gotta, I You gotta, didn't win? I didn't, I didn't win. I need to double check it. I feel like you guys. Yeah. Uh, all right. Let's see what we got. And those watching on uh, Facebook Live, feel free to ask questions of us. We've got Jared with Lotto Edge here. Here. He's, uh, you know, crunching the numbers for us using a public lottery data from the North Carolina Method lottery. To the madness. Method to the madness, absolutely. Not quite as totally random scratch offs as you might think. Um, and yeah, this was something I truly had no idea, you know, that this kind of data was out there. James? Michelle on Facebook wants to know is this only North Carolina? South Carolina Great question. So right now we're just in North Carolina and New Jersey. We do have plans to expand to other states, including South Carolina. Um, we just launched a couple months ago, so we're focusing on growing our user base here in North Carolina, but South Carolina should be coming soon. And as far as the, the data being public, several states have this public data. They might not have a website like yours, um, but I know Georgia obviously is where I'm from, where my mom would look at the uh, numbers online. So what other states do you know of? A lot. Yeah, there's a lot of states that do provide information. It's funny, they all vary in how much and what kind of information they provide. Um, we actually analyze a lot of those states already, and we actually had created algorithms where we basically have a call it 40, 50 different data points, and we fill in the gaps wherever those states are missing data. Like, for example, North Carolina Lottery, they give some great information. We go and fill in a lot of the gaps that we require for our data and analysis. Um, so it just varies state by state. And some states, I will say, are very stingy on their data. Mm -hmm. North Carolina Lottery is fantastic, and they want to give data. In fact, we've had conversations with them where they're very supportive of giving players additional information to let them make you know, the best decision for them. Yeah, I think that's great. I think so. None on this one, Fred? <laughs> you scratched the whole thing off. 25. All right, 25 on this one. That's yeah, fun. Yeah. I, check the rest of it. yeah but I know. i got to check the rest of this one, too. It's, it's too much to pressure argue. talking <laughs> and holding a microphone and scratching at the same time. Anyway, guys, uh, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, the More on this story tonight at 11 on NBC Charlotte about how you can use math 
to increase your odds of winning a scratch off ticket. Fred, what do you think about all this? Um, Final words? You know what? <laughs> I guess I have more of a chance than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and Jared, thank you so much for joining thank us. We appreciate, appreciate it. it. All right. You. you guys have a great day. See you later. Look at us. Yeah. You want to check this to make sure I'm not <laughs> <laughs> I know. I like having fully.